Hi everyone, Tim Brown. Welcome back to My Apple Podcast, the podcast that makes a personal connection to everything Apple. I'm switching back to the Mac, and for this episode, I want to feature an application called JPEG Mini. JPEG Mini basically reduces the file size of your photos up to 80%. This particularly comes in handy when you're setting up images for a website because it will help to increase the load time, or should I say decrease it. Let me show you how this works. I'm going to go ahead and pull up a finder window here. And as you can see, I set up two folders. One is labeled before, the other after. Each folder contains the same set of images. And just to show you, I'm going to pull up the information for the before folder, 16.3 megabytes. And I'm going to pull up the information for the after folder, 16.3 megabytes. And I'll let you look inside each one. Here's before. As you can see here, there are various photos of sculptures that I took at the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Go ahead and click on the after photo folder. And as you can see, it's the same exact photos, both at 16.3 megabytes. The after folder, I'm going to put inside JPEG Mini so that you can see just how different the file sizes are without losing the quality. Okay, so on the left is JPEG Mini, and on the right are the two folders that I just showed you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drag the after folder over to JPEG Mini, and JPEG Mini is going to automatically compress that folder, reducing it between 50 and 80%. So let's see how it works. I'll go ahead and just drop it right in here in the center. You'll see you'll get a notice. It says JPEG Mini will overwrite your original photos replacing them with JPEG mini version. So if you're concerned about this, you may want to save another copy. So let's go ahead and click continue. Now, I don't have that many photos in here, so this shouldn't take too long. Now I did this before, so it's probably going to save me about 10 megabytes. We're almost done. Great. So as you can see, it saves me 10 megabytes. Now the true test. Did it affect the quality of the photos? Let's find out. Okay, first, let's measure the file size of each folder. So as you recall, the before folder was 16.3 megabytes. And let's go to the after folder is now 5.4 megabytes, so roughly 10 megabytes was saved during that compression process. Now, did that affect the quality of the photos? Let's take a look. So in one finder window, I'm gonna go ahead and open the photos from the before folder. Then the other finder window, I'm gonna open the photos from the after folder. And I'm gonna choose the same photo in each finder window to see how they compare. Okay, I'm going to spread them out here a little bit so you can see both of them. Okay, I'm going to go now to Tools for the Before folder and we see here that the photo is 1600 by 1200 pixels, 72 resolution. When we go to the Compressed folder, we'll see that what do you know? The same size, 1600 by 1200 pixels, 72 resolution. Wow, how did the application do that? Do you notice any difference in quality? They're virtually identical. The only thing that I could possibly see, and it's just very subtle, is that maybe the photo on the right is has a slightly stronger contrast, but you can barely tell. So let's read up on this technology. What exactly goes into this technology that enables them to pull off this incredible feat? So let's visit the JPEG Mini website to see if we can get an explanation of what this technology is all about. So here's the technology page. I'm going to scroll down to components and I'm going to go ahead and just read this aloud to you. JPEG Mini technology has two main components. The first is an image quality detector which imitates the perceptual qualities of the human visual system. 
to determine the maximum amount of compression which can be applied to each individual photo without causing visible artifacts. The second is a unique JPEG encoder which adapts the JPEG encoding process to the original photos creating the most compact representation of the photos that is possible under the JPEG standard. Combining these two components enables JPEG Mini to achieve an extremely high recompression ratio of up to five times or 80% reduction on digital photos depending on their resolution. And that's JPEG Mini. You can find it in the Mac App Store for $19.99. Thanks for tuning in for another episode of My Apple Podcast. My name is Tim Brown. Check me out at MyApplePodcast.com. You can also find me in iTunes, on Facebook, as well as Twitter. Until then, I'll see you next time.